Alright, All right, well welcome. Happy Sunday morning to you. And uh, <laughs> Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And happy yeah. Memorial Day. Amen. Yeah. So we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Bienvenidos yeah. a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Hallelujah. So praise God. Amen. Amen. We're going to be talking to you today about Memorial Day. Amen. And uh, some of us have forgotten, but we shouldn't forget. Amen. Never forget. Never forget. Praise God. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive always. Be ready for whatever God has for you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and yes. correct you sometimes. Yes. Of course he does. Amen. Yeah. So we're going, go, we're, we're growing, going, and and going for, for God. Amen. Amen. Let me see how I got that. A growing, going, and growing. Ooh, going. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. So that's what we want to do as soldiers yeah. for him. Amen. We're going to be talking about soldiers. You're going to hear a lot about soldiers. You're going to hear a lot about the military. So get yourselves ready. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Grab your Bibles, you, Soldier Lord. of God, and say it like you mean it. Amen. Yes. This is this my is Bible. Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. I am so happy that you're joining us. All those that are joining us by audio, video, whatever, yeah. you, wherever you are, amen, welcome, yeah. amen. So praise God. Be ready and get yourself yes. ready to receive what God has yes. for us, amen. We got a few slides for you that we want to show you. Yeah. Happy Memorial Day. Yeah. Keep going, Carmen. These are beautiful. Yes. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, the, el feliz día de conmemoración de los que los caídos nunca olvidaremos. We'll never forget, amen. Keep going. Yes. Memorial Day. Celebrate, honor, and remember. Yes. Never, never, never to forget. Amen. Yes. And especially what God has done for us. What God did yes. for us. What Jesus did for us. Amen. Yes. And we are to do the same. Amen. To go and glow for him. Amen. Yes. This Memorial Day, remember and honor all who have served and sacrificed for our freedom. Yes. You know, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but freedom is not free. No, it wouldn't. Amen. So. Willing. <laughs> There's something to pay. Keep going, Carmen. These are good. Memorial Day, remembering those who served. All gave some, and some gave all. Yeah. They're gone, but never forgotten. Yes, Amen. Yes. Just remember this. Amen. I know some of you have uh, uh, moms, dads, uh, uh, relatives, you know, that served, and we just want to honor them and say Amen. thank you to them for their service time. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Oh, Here we go. To all men and women in uniform, past, present, and future, God bless you and thank you. Amen. Yes. Yes. This is good. One more. There we go. Thank you for serving our country and protecting our freedom. Yes. So let me read you here a little bit. So happy Memorial Day, Remembrance Day 2020. Yes. A day of celebration, rejoicing, and gladness. Amen. A, man, a, a, day, a, a, a time to remember. Amen. Yes. Memorial Day is tomorrow. May uh, 25th, last, always last Monday of the month of May, amen? So, hallelujah. A great day to fly the flag. You have a flag, fly it, amen? amen. And, and respect and honor it. And uh, I just feel great uh, to wear my uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so prideful to wear it. Uh, it reminds me I spend time in a service and uh, I enjoy my time. And uh, I just have nothing but good things to say. Amen. I enjoyed my time. And uh, I just want to thank God that that came through all that God uh, say. Amen. So remember and honor men and women who have served, fallen, given their lives to preserve the freedom of the United States. Yes. Some returning handicapped for life. Some being rejected by government, society, family, spouses. Remember this. We got some good slides for you in a few minutes. As believers, we must never forget also what Jesus did for us. Yes. Amen. We're going to right. be talking about our greatest soldier ever lived. Yes. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Yes. He paid a debt. He didn't. He paid a debt he didn't owe. And I owe a debt I cannot quite pay. Amen. Uh -huh. A few minutes ago, you didn't hear this, but we sang this, that song. Amen. He paid a debt he didn't owe. I owe a debt I couldn't pay. Yes. I mean, you need to remind yourself that on a daily basis. Amen. And say, thank you. What can I say? Just say thank you. Amen. Praise God. 
buried, he was buried, he died, buried, and risen. In heaven, seated at the right hand of God, interceding for us, gave a free, gave us the free, free gift of salvation. A lot of people don't know that. All of the you that are watching, those of you that are listening, salvation is free. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to earn it. You just receive it. Amen. But you have to confess it with your mouth. Amen. So if you never said it before, say it now. Amen. It's never too early or never too late to say, you know, Lord Jesus, <laughs> I, I, I sin against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. You know what? There's two other guys that were crucified with Jesus. The, the robbers, crooks, <laughs> and they did wrong. And one of them was still mocking Jesus. Well, if you're the son of God, why won't you take us down? Why won't you do what you're supposed to do? The other one says, you know what? Basically, he was saying, you know, I repent, I sin, but I recognize who you are. You know, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And he says, you know what? He says, today you'll be with me in paradise. Yeah. Those of you that have done wrong, you might be in your, at your deathbed. You might be the last month breath you take. But you know what? When you call on Jesus, he'll never turn you down. But you need to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and he'll receive you. Amen. And he says, today you'll be with me in paradise. Amen. That's what we need to do on a daily basis, you know, is just thank him for all the good things he's done. Amen. So praise God. John 3, 16. Here we go. Woo. I'm glad you put it up there, Carmen. He paid a debt he didn't know. I owe a debt. I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. That's what he did. Now I sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace, the whole day long. Christ Jesus paid a debt. Uh -huh. That I could never pay. Uh -huh. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Remind yourself of this. And just yes. say, on a daily basis, thank you so much. Hallelujah. Keep going. Here we go. John 3, 16. And yes. then you can turn there or you can just follow or, or watch this slide. But John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world. You know yes. what the world is? People. <laughs> People. Yeah. You know, some of us go around confessing, you know, this world would be great if, uh, if we didn't have people around. <laughs> well, you can't get away from them. <laughs> They're always there, you know. It says, for God so loved people, the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but what? Have everlasting life. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. The Lord says, he met with Jesus in heaven one day. He said, son, I'm going to send you to, to earth. Because I want my people back. Mm -hmm. But they'll have to confess and receive you as Lord and Savior. Amen. Last time I was there, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus says, I don't want to go. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> what if he would have said that? <laughs> we would have still been lost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he came, amen, and amen. served. Yes, and he was born as a man. Yes. Amen. And he went through all the hard things we go through. Uh -huh. And harder than what we have gone through. That's amen. Right. But anyway, for God so loved the world, amen, people. And on a daily basis, this is the day God has made. Mm -hmm. We say, we, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. You know, there's nothing to be sad about, nothing to be uh, uh, doom and gloom, you know. It says, you have a choice. Mm -hmm. You could be uh, glad or rejoice, or you could, or you could just... Uh, let all the circumstances in the world just overtake you. Mm -hmm. But he says, cast your cares on me because yeah. I care for you. Yeah. Amen. So on a daily basis, again, say thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you have given me. Yeah. Thank you for waking me up. Yeah. Amen. I want to serve you. Amen. I want to be glad and rejoice in this beautiful yeah. day you have given me. Praise God. Thank you, Carmen. Keep going. Matthew 20 and 28 says, the Son of Man did not come to be served. So he's the king of kings and lord of lords. So he's coming to be served. No, he says, I didn't come to be served. He says, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for me. Yes, for me. Amen. He knew. He knew his mission. Yes, he did. And he accepted his mission. Yes. But on a daily basis, he went to the Father. Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. I need your guidance. I need you to be with me as I go about my, you know, my mission. Uh, how much more us me yeah. and him, you know, Lord, I need you every day. Yeah. You know, you think things are hard. Things are hard as hell without Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? So on a daily basis, receive him and say, Lord, I need you. I need your strength. You know? 
He'll see you fulfill your mission. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Yes, amen. amen. Include yourself and fulfill what God has called you to do. Yes. Some of you are still waiting for God to call. Or some of you are still waiting to call. He's already called you. Since you were born, he's called you. He's gifted you. He's anointed you. And he, he's giving you a mission. All we need to do is call, accept him, and, and have relationship with him. Have relationship with him. How do, I, how do I know what I need to do? Well, you have relationship with him. Talk to him. Amen. And he'll let you know what it is he wants you to do. Yes. One of them is you're a minister of reconciliation, taking the world to a lost world. Take, yes. Taking the word to the lost world. Yes. Bringing your, your, your light to a dark world. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. You, you need to remember, you can do all these things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. You need his strength. You need his guidance. Yes. You, you, need, you need him. Yes. Can't do it without him. That's Amen. Right. So praise God. Yes. <laughs> you're going to be lost without him. And the next one, here we go. No, go back one. one there we go. Matthew 20 and 28. And yeah. some of these you can want to mark down, you know, so you can go back and read them for yourself. Just as the Son of Man did not come to serve, but but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Yeah. Amen. Okay, now you can go further. Yeah. Greater love hath no man than this, yes. that a man may lay down his life for his Amen. friends. Amen. Ooh, what awesome. That, this is awesome. And uh, we, all, all our Bible heroes and, and uh, all our soul, all our, uh, our soldiers, fallen soldiers, you know, have done this. You know, mm -hmm. they've done this. Some, some gave their lives. Some yeah. never came back. Yes, it but is. still, you know, you know, that reminds me <laughs> of this story and I'm going to read it to you. I read it all the time because this is what started Memorial Day. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. After th this woman, this mother, this wife, after decorating the ranks of her two sons, Confederate soldiers, you know, we have the South Confederate and we have the North, which uh, 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 Yankees. Still, the mother, after decorating her graves of her sons, the elderly woman, wife, mother, walked to two mounds of dirt on the corner of the grave to place memorial flowers. The people try to stop her and say, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are uh, enemies. You don't do this. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is what, he, what she says. It says, those are two Union soldiers from the North, our enemies. Softly, the, the, the mother says this. With love and compassion, she says, I know. She says, I know somewhere in the North there's a mother, there's a young wife that mourns for them as we do for ours. Yes. And not know when, when says that they'll never come home again. Mm -hmm. They'll be missed. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know, as a body of Christ, I, I say this all the time, but as a body of Christ, we got to stop competing against each other. Uh -huh. You know, when you go to heaven, <laughs> when, you go, when you go to heaven, we're not going to be separated in heaven by denominations. That's it. Amen. We, we need to stop competing. Yeah. As a body of Christ, we need to stop competing here on earth. As you know, denominations and who's right and who's wrong, mm -hmm. because in heaven there's not going to be none, none of that. What we need to do is come together, as mm -hmm. and, and do uh, unity and unity and teamwork together. Yes. Come together as a body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stop competing against each other and yes. start completing one another, Amen. helping one another, encouraging one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you know what? The enemy can use this as a tool. Mm -hmm. And he does. Yes. So we need to realize this. Say, hey, I got brothers and sisters that are uh, Catholic. I got brothers and sisters that are Presbyterians. I got brothers and sisters that are uh, uh, Episcopals or Presbyterian or whatever, Baptist, you know? Mm -hmm. But we need to realize this on earth so we can help one another mm -hmm. and stop fighting and competing against oh, each other. Yeah. So they try to stop this lady and say, wait a minute, that's our enemies. You don't put flowers on our enemies. She says, <laughs> she just wanted to honor them and yeah. put flowers on them. And says, there's a mom, there's a wife in the north that's mourning them. Amen. 
So we need to help one another. And this thought in Memorial Day. Amen. Honoring our soldiers. We all know someone that served or given their lives. Mom, dad, brother, sister, whatever, a relative. Yes. Their service time, dedication, courage is appreciated, not just once a year on Memorial Day, but the sacrifice is noticeable every day of the year. Freedom is never free. That's right. Keep going, Chris. It's in there somewhere. Keep yeah. going. Freedom is not free. Jesus paid the price for your freedom. Freedom yes. from sin. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, and you might say, I'm getting ahead of myself, but you might say, well, you know, I never served. And I didn't. I never had any kinfolk that served. But you know what? These folks that sacrificed their lives for you, mm -hmm. for, for, for America, yes. brought freedom to you. Yes, they did. And you should be more than happy to honor them on the Memorial Day mm -hmm. when we honor them for all the fallen heroes. Yes. You know, say, hey, I live in a free country and I want to thank all of those that died, you know, to preserve my freedom. Yes. Amen. Freedom is not free. Yeah. So don't go around saying, uh, I'm not included in this. Yes, you are. Because freedom costs. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise yeah, God. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten. Thank you for your service time and your sacrifice. Praise God. Just want to say also thank you for all those that have given their lives on the altar of freedom. Thousands of sacrifices. Amen. All our Bible heroes that we know about, uh -huh. they weren't perfect. No. But they gave their lives, you know. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so are we. We we are continuing our mission and fulfilling our mission. Amen. And giving ourselves yeah. in this in, in this walk, in this mission with God. Amen. Yeah. Because of the sacrifices, we are free today. Yeah. We have the right to assemble ourselves together and we have the right to praise and worship our God. Yeah. Amen. So don't think it lightly. Whew. Praise God. Thank yeah. you. So don't say it doesn't apply to me. No. Yes, it does. It applies to yeah. all of us, yeah. whether you have service time or not. That's Remember right. to pray That's for right. those that are left behind. The yeah. mother, the fathers, the spouses, mm -hmm. children, relatives. Pray for them. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I went by the uh, uh, cemetery yesterday. And you know when you walk in there, and I'm like, I got some slides for you too. You know what you see? On Veterans Day, on Memorial Day, you see flags everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's people that come, and people that do this, yeah. they come and, and put flags on all soldiers mm -hmm. that have served before. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. We're going to show you some flags in a few minutes in Arlington, that cemetery, where you see some of these. So remember what our Heavenly Father did for us also. John 3, 16, we know, for God so loved the world yes, that he did. gave. Amen. Yeah. So today we're going to be talking about the greatest soldier ever lived, mm. Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Since you got born again, you are enlisted in God's army. God's one in team. Yeah. And team here stands for together in unity. Together we all achieve more. Yeah. Together everyone achieves more. Amen. Teamwork makes the dream. Teamwork makes the vision. Teamwork makes the mission work. Amen. Teamwork. Unity makes that work. Amen. So we're not to compete. We're to complete one another. Amen. You can say a kind word. You can encourage somebody. Don't push nobody down. Lift somebody up. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hmm. So if we've done that, let's forget about it. Let's not go there anymore. Woo. Also honor all the veterans that are serving now mm -hmm. and are serving our country. Yeah. Thank you. We love you. We've been praying for you. Yes. Pray for those left behind. Uh -huh. uh, freedom affects everyone, including uh, our family and friends. Amen. Times we choose our favorite holiday. Well, you know what? I know everybody loves Christmas, you know, because, oh, we get so many things. Or they like Easter. Or they like Thanksgiving. <laughs> but we've never really accepted a mm -hmm. Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. I just want to encourage you. Don't yes. forget about those that have uh, paid for your freedom. Yes. Amen. So consider them, too. Hallelujah. We all want to enjoy freedom, but we don't think about that. So once again, thank you. I want to talk to you about the greatest soldier ever lived. 
The greatest soldier is Jesus. He stepped into a battle one day. He just came and stepped into the battle one day. He entered a fight knowing that it would cost him everything. Still didn't back up. You know, he had a plan. And he worked his plan. And he went to the Father when he didn't know what to do. He went to the Father when he needed strength. He went to the Father when he needed guidance. Mm-hmm. And we can do the same thing. Lord, I need your guidance. I need you. I need I need you. I need yes. your strength. Amen. We can do this still on a daily basis. Amen. He bravely won a great victory at a terrible uh, price. He gave his life, not for a nation, but for all humanity. Yes, he did. Amen. He paid for our salvation. Yes. Salvation is free. And yet still, some of us have never confessed and accepted him as Lord and Savior. That's right. Amen. We can't buy it. We can't get it any other way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm-hmm. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Yes. I pay for your salvation. You come to me. Amen. Amen. So if you've never accepted him, now's the time. You know, quit putting it off, you know. <laughs> We spend more time in fear about this coronavirus than we do spend time with Jesus. Uh-huh. Amen? Yes. So, his sacrifice served to set us free from those that are captive in sin. Uh-huh. To know Jesus is to honor him. We must honor the Son of God daily. Amen. Every day should be a day of thanksgiving, uh, honoring him. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> Today, let us also remember the man named Jesus, this man Jesus, and the sacrifice he made for yes. all of us. Amen. Three great blessings uh-huh. that he made, plain through its word. Amen. And Amen. we're going to be reading that in a few minutes. Keep going, son. Here we go. This is how some of our heroes come home. Oh, boy. And uh, this is a quote from uh, John F. Kennedy, President Kennedy. He says, Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Amen. Serve your country. You know, when you go serve your country, you may not come back. Mm. When you go serve your country, you may come back uh, maimed, crippled, but you come back. Amen. And sometimes you're not welcome. Mm. This this has got to change. Yes. Keep going. Amen. This is what families receive Mm -hmm. at times. A little guy just finding out his dad's not coming home. He's dressed. You can tell his father, a Marine. <laughs> but he went to visit his dad at the graveside. He's in his uniform and he's honoring his father. Mm-hmm. Amen. Keep going. This is what I was telling you about. Honor reflects that remember. Memorial Day at Arlington National Cemetery. Yeah. This is what you see. And this is just a small slide. Yeah. But you see it from miles all over the place. Yeah. Keep going. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Follow heroes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Honor them. Don't forget about them. You know, fly your flag. Say in honor of them. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Go one more. There we go. (laughs) These gentlemen have the duties to uh, go and uh, put flags on all the graves. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have one that goes uh, here in our cemetery in Martha. And put flags on all our veterans. Amen. All our fallen heroes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, let's open the Bibles, 1 Timothy 3.16. 1 Timothy 3.16. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> um... You read that. I want to read it to you. Well, the translation that I wrote it down from, okay, is the New Life Version. It's important to know the secret of God's uh, life, life giving, living, which is Christ. Came to earth as a man. He was pure in his uh, uh, spirit. He was seen by angels. The nations heard about him. Men everywhere put their trust in him. He was taken up into heaven. Amen. So we know Jesus came, did his duties, and did what he had to do. And he was taken up into heaven. Mm-hmm. And the Bible says he's seated at the right hand of God. Mm-hmm. Amen. A place of authority. Yes. Amen. So he's there interceding for you. 
So don't ever say that you know you're by yourself. You're not doing anything. Uh, uh, he doesn't do or, or, or cares about you. He sits at the right hand of God and he's sitting for you. Amen. Amen. He wants you to fulfill. He wants you to succeed. He wants you to fulfill, complete your mission. Amen. And we gotta see ourselves that way. Yes. Confess His word and say, "Yes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me." Amen. May we always remember His appearing. God was manifested in the flesh. God's greatest event in human history. God himself stepped into eternity, mm -hmm. into time, came into this world as a baby, as a man. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, uh, he was God. He had all powers. Mm -hmm. He was born of a virgin, Virgin Mary. He was born as a child. He was born and, and grew up to be a man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus laid aside his heavenly address like every soldier who served in the armed forces, Jesus left home, then he left heaven and came to earth. He lived in a place of perfection. He, he had, no, excuse me. We have lived in a place of perfection, free from sin, uh, pain, suffering, and sorrow. But you know, he came to this world. And all these things was already there. Amen. He began in heaven where he was exalted, honored, and worshiped. So he willingly left all this behind and entered into a sin-cursed world. Mm. Ooh, a hated world. Yeah. He came to a world where even those who waited for his appearing would reject him. You know, yeah. one day, we talked about in Easter, one week, they welcomed the king yeah. into Jerusalem mm -hmm. and saying, wow, you know, Hosanna, here comes the king of kings. Mm -hmm. And the next week, they crucified him. Yeah. Amen. And, and when they, they when they crucified him, they crowned him king, mm -hmm. and they put a crown of thorns on him. Mm -hmm. That's not good. No. He came to this world where even those who had waited on his appearing would reject him. Yeah. John, first John, uh, excuse me, John one eleven says he came to his own people, mm -hmm. and even they rejected him. Yeah. You know, he tells us, you know, people are going to hate you, mm -hmm. but I want you to know. That they hated me first. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So yeah. he wants to encourage us, you know, just don't go right. around trying to please people that's because it. you're never going to please them. No, that's it. Amen. Just know, be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Amen. The people are going to hate you no matter what. Mm -hmm. Even when you do right, they're going to yeah. hate you. <laughs> yep. He came to a land where he would be ridiculed, hated, and killed, yet he came anyway. Our soldiers go to places like this. Ridiculed, hated, and killed, yet they go anyway, mm -hmm. all for our freedom. Amen. Amen. They know they may never come back. That's right. But they go anyway. First mm -hmm. John 1 1 says, Christ comes to the world. Before the world began, the word was there. The word was God, and the word was God. Amen. Amen. But he came anyway. John 1 and 14 says, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and He held His glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and in truth. Amen. So, you know what? Jesus laid aside everything and He came anyway. He told the Father, I'm going. Yeah. He volunteered to come. You know, a lot of times when I joined the military, I volunteered to go. <laughs> I wasn't drafted. I volunteered to go. Jesus volunteered saying, I'll go, Father. So he laid all this earth, uh, heavenly uh, apparel aside and says, I'll go. I'll give all this. Why would he want to leave, it, leave a perfect heaven and come? And, you know, and still people say, well, you know, God put these uh, sickness on us. God put the coronavirus on us, no, you know. No, no. You know, that's such a lie. You know why? Because God has no bad or evil to put on you. There's no evil in heaven. There's no sickness in heaven. So how can he give you this? How can he sacrifice his son and then turn around and put sickness on you? That's right. So we got to get this right. You know, relationship will make it right. Yeah. Because you know the word and you get in the word. Yeah. And it'll set you free. Yeah. Amen. The word of God will set you free. Amen. Praise God. When a soldier enters the military, he ceases to wear the same clothes he wore as a civilian. He now wears the uniform of his nation. When Christ came to the world, he willingly hid away his heavenly family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our soldiers do the same thing. 
you know, I lay aside my clothes and I put on a uniform. Amen. I enjoy wearing this uniform. <laughs> I only, nowadays, I'm, I'm retired now, but what I do now, I only wear it on Memorial Day and Veterans Day. And I enjoy wearing it. Amen. So, praise God. Philippians 2, 5 and 8 says this in the New Living Translation. You must have the same attitude that Christ had. Though he was God, he did not think of yeah. equality with God right. as some to claim to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave mm -hmm. and was born as a human being. Mm -hmm. When he appeared in a human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal death on a cross. Yeah. Amen. He says, Father, why are you forsaking me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he died. He, he went through some things that we never go through. Right. And yet we say, you know, well, you never been through this. Mm -hmm. He went through worse than that. Yes. Amen. And he understands. And he went through some of these things so that you can know that he understands. Yeah. And some of the things he went through, we'll never go through. But he understands. And that's why it's so important that you know. He says, I sent you on this trip. I sent you on this mission. But I want you to know, every day, on a daily basis, cast your cares on me because I care for you. You don't have to carry those things. Amen? You don't have to carry that extra weight. Just give it to me. Okay? When you spend time with him, I think it was last week that we said, we said, uh, uh, let me see, I might have it here. It says, don't face your enemy or each day until you have faced God in prayer. Mm -hmm. Don't face your enemy. Don't go out and see your giants or see the world yeah. every day until you face time with him, spend time with him. Mm -hmm. You know, when you spend time with him, you're ready to meet your giants. Mm -hmm. Amen? Just like David. And those giants are going to be there. Mm -hmm. Believe me. They don't go away. They'll be right there. Yeah. But when you submit yourself to God, he says, enemy has to go. Yeah. Submit yourself to God. He says, resist. You have to do something. Yeah. You got to resist him, and he will flee. Amen. Yeah. He has to go. Jesus said to him, uh, ben, uh, Matthew 8, 8 and 20. You can mark some of these down. Matthew 8 and 20 says, Said to him, Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, birds have nests, mm -hmm. but the Son of Man has no place, no place. to lay his head. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hmm. He was God, the creator of the universe, born as a baby in, Be in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. He was God to whom belong the earth and the fullness thereof, mm -hmm. but with no place to lay his head. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me you've gone through that. <laughs> mm -hmm. He was absolutely dependent upon a human mother the Virgin Mary, and his father, Joseph, for his food. Amen. You could, you, you, you know, he had everything in heaven, but when he came, he was dependent upon his parents. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God, he laid everything aside yeah. and born a baby, born and grew to be a man. Because Jesus left heaven and came into this world, he knew pain, suffering, rejection, hu hunger, thirst, Loneliness and many other, uh, many other problems that are part of the human condition. Yeah. He suffered all that. He died so that we might feel our pain, so that he might feel our pain mm -hmm. and know how to comfort us when we go through our trials. Amen. Amen. So he's been through it. Don't say you don't know. What, you don't know what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. He knows. He went through it and more. Yes. And he understands. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is what I wanted to read to you in a few minutes. 1 Peter 5, 6 and 9 says this, in New Living Translation, So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God, and at, all, at, at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries, all your cares to God, for he cares about you. Stay alert, watch out for your enemy, the great enemy, the devil. He prowls around as a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. He stands firm against him. Stand firm against him. And be strong in your faith. Yeah. Remember Amen. that your family of believers 
all over the world is going through the same kind yeah. of suffering you do. Yeah. Stand yeah. firm. Stand yeah. in your faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. That's right. Here lately, you know, we're walking in fear. We have more <laughs> fear than we have faith. You know, if you read the word, you grow, you grow your fear. I mean, your, your faith. And if your faith grows, fear has to go. Mm -hmm. But we need to spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is what, he, what he's telling us. Give all your worries and cares to me. Why? Because he cares for you. It's time we get this right. Amen. Amen. Get this right. <coughs> Again, for, uh, James 4, 7. King James says, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil. We yes. have something to do. We got to resist him. Uh -huh. We got to stand in the word yeah. and say, <laughs> you know, you're not coming against me. You're not going to put me on the run anymore. Uh, I'm going to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to resist you and you're going to run. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or I'm going to tell you, get under my feet. That's where you belong. Yeah. Amen. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. He has got to go. And not maybe... If I want to, he says, right. he's got to go. The word of God says it. Amen. And we always remember his accomplishments. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He was justified in the spirit, <coughs> seen of angels, preached unto Gentiles, and believed on the word. So praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you did for us. Amen. Yes. The greatest Lord. soldier ever lived. Amen. Amen. But we're talking about um, our soldiers, honoring Amen. our soldiers. Keep going, Colonel. I just want to show you this. Keep going. That's the last one. Oh, that's okay. And in closing, in closing, Pastor Pat is going to come, and she's going to read a prayer for you. Amen? She's going to read a prayer, and uh, it's for our soldiers. And uh, you guys can find this or pray at any time. Pray for our soldiers anytime. You know, the big thing about prayer is there's no distance. And you can be anywhere and pray. <coughs> Amen. You can be anywhere and pray. Amen. So today, let us remember this uh, name, this man named Jesus, the yes. greatest soldier that ever lived. It took our sins upon ourselves, upon himself, and died in our place. Yes. Amen. After Jesus, there's no other man. That's right. No, no other man. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So come on, Patricia. Some of you may have heard this one already, but I'm going to read it. It's called the Soldier's Prayer. And, uh, you know, it's not for us to turn back and run, okay, but it's for us to, to do something. Amen? A Soldier's Prayer. I am a soldier in the army of my God. The Lord Jesus Christ is my commanding officer. The Holy Scripture is my code of conduct. Faith, prayer, and the word are my weapons of warfare. I have been taught by the Holy Spirit, trained by experience, tried by adversity, and tested by fire. I am a volunteer in this army, and I am enlisted for eternity. I will not get out, sell out, be talked out, or pushed out. I am faithful, reliable, capable, and dependable. If my God needs me, I am there. I am a soldier. I am not a baby. I do not need to be pampered, petted, primed up, pumped up, picked up, or pepped up. I am a soldier. No one has to call me, remind me, write me, visit me, entice me, or lure me. I am a soldier. I am not a wimp. I am in place saluting my king, obeying his orders, praising his name, and building his kingdom. No one has to send me flowers, gifts, food, cards, or candy, or give me handouts. I do not need to be cuddled, cradled, cared for, or catered to. I am committed. I cannot have my feelings hurt bad enough to turn me around. I cannot be discouraged enough to turn me aside. I cannot lose enough to cause me to quit. When Jesus called me into this army, I had nothing. If I end up with nothing, I will still come out ahead. I will win. My God has and will continue to supply all of my need. I am more than a conqueror. I will always triumph. I can do all things through Christ. The devil cannot defeat me. People cannot disillusion me. 
Weather cannot weary me. Sickness cannot stop me. Battles cannot beat me. Money cannot buy me. Governments cannot silence me. And hell cannot handle me. I am a soldier. Even death cannot destroy me. For when my commander calls me from his battlefield, he will promote me to captain and then allow me to rule with him. I am a soldier in the army, and I'm marching, claiming victory. I will not give up. I will not turn around. I am a soldier, marching heaven bound. Here I stand. Will you stand with me? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And in closing, we just wanted to say thank you to all our men and women that have served. Go Black Friday. Remembering, honoring all the men and women that have served, fallen, given their lives to preserve the freedom of the United States. Amen. That is what we want to say. But praise God. Thank you. And thank you for that prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Once again, if you never asked Jesus, now's the time. You know, Amen. don't pass it up anymore. Don't put it off anymore. You know, all you have to do is confess. I say, Lord, I pray in your name. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he's not going to reject you. Friends will reject you. People will reject you. The world will reject you. But he won't. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. Start living for him. And start going for him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Remember that. So yes. praise God. And you know if you uh, need prayer right now, he won't turn you down either. The word of God says, by his stripes you were healed. So all you have to do is believe what the word of God says. Amen. And body line up with the word of God. So whatever sickness or whatever is attacking your body, I cancel that right now in Jesus' name. Yes. Just touch that part of your body. Say, I receive my healing. Because the word of God says so. And I receive it. Amen. Release your faith and let God heal you. Amen. Praise yeah. God. So praise God. Amen. Thank you, Father. I believe that. I don't know about you, but I believe what the word of God says. Amen. Amen. So, it's giving time. Those of you that are watching, listening, it's time to give of your tithe or offerings. We want to thank you for helping us during this time. And uh, if you're going to give, uh, go to the website. It's on the screen, nbcbigband.com. Yeah. And hit the donate button. For those of you that are mailing, you can go to NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. Praise God. Just stretch Praise your hands. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to give. Yes. Thank you, Father, for uh, blessing the gift and the giving, Lord. Yes, You're giving bound for our sake, Lord, and open the windows of heaven and pouring out a blessing we're not able to contain, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise God.